The Army just released the new field manual FM70 training. And while some aspects of the publication are similar to the previous publication, there are some updates that leaders need to understand. Specifically, the Task Proficiency Rating Scheme. To evaluate and assess collective training and how we perform our mission essential tasks, or metal tasks, we have collective task proficiency ratings. You may remember phrases like, our company is a T- in this metal task, but a P- in this metal task. These ratings are determined by an intricate training and evaluation report that provides the doctrine, evaluation criteria, and performance steps to get a go. And in the previous manual, evaluators used a five-tiered scale to score units training, but now that's condensed into three levels, untrained, practice, and trained. An untrained unit cannot perform the task required, and it requires complete training on the task to achieve the Army standard. A practice unit has the basic skills required to accomplish that metal task, but falls short and requires significant training to meet the Army standard. A trained unit has the advanced skills required to accomplish the metal task, free of significant shortcomings and those that only require minimal training to meet the Army standard. And the challenge with unit training management, or UTM, is staying within what's called the band of excellence, basically always being a T in your metal tasks. If your unit goes through a few PCS cycles, you may have a completely different unit and need to retrain. And so there's a science and there's an art to UTM, and it requires all leaders to understand how the proficiency ratings work. For more information on this and other training-related topics, check out FM70 Training.